Flexbox is an amazing tool for creating layouts in CSS, but if you have ever struggled with elements not aligning properly, sections not resizing as expected, or layouts breaking on different screens, chances are you are using Flexbox wrong. In this video, I will show you the most common mistakes developers make with Flexbox and more importantly how to fix them, so your layouts work exactly as you want. One of the most frustrating things in Flexbox is when elements don't stretch to fill the space, leaving weird gaps. Each item is stuck at 200 pixels because Flexbox isn't automatically distributing the space. Use FlexGrow to let items expand proportionally. Now each item automatically takes up equal space making the layout more flexible. Another mistake is using width to set item sizes inside a Flexbox container. When using width, Flexbox loses its flexibility and items might not adjust properly on different screens. Use flex bases instead of width for a more flexible and responsive design. Now the items start at 300 pixels but Flexbox can still adjust them if needed. Common confusion with Flexbox is mixing up alignment properties. Align items controls vertical alignment in a row, so this won't center items horizontally. Use justify content for horizontal alignment. If you actually want to center items vertically, then use align items. Many developers add margins to create spacing between Flexbox items. Using margins affects all sides and can cause layout inconsistencies. Use the gap property to add proper spacing between flex items. This is cleaner and works better than adding margins manually. Sometimes items shrink too much when the screen size changes. By default, items shrink automatically, which can make them too small on smaller screens. Control how much an item can shrink using flex shrink. Now items will grow but won't shrink too much, keeping a balanced layout. By applying these fixes, your Flexbox layouts will be clean, responsive and work exactly how you want.